Hello, welcome back to Tour and Explore. My name is Honey Badger G and L. G stands for gaming, L stands for location. If you're new to this channel, check me up. Uh, if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Uh, right. We're going to go off to the road. Hopefully it will stop raining and we will do some tour exploring. I've got some things to mention. First things first, I had a quick look at my YouTube history and find out that this channel is one years old. On the 26th of May last year gone, no sorry, yeah, last year gone, I created this YouTube channel. 26th of May has gone already. We're now in August, so I have one years old on this channel. Um, so I think it's only fair to get feedbacks. So what do you guys think? Has the channel improved? Does it still need improving? Has it not improved? So let me know in the comments below. Um, also, I've made my banner. I, most YouTube channels have banners. I did it with using uh, Microsoft Paint, other paint tools are available and I used my old hand and mouse to uh, do it. Um, what it's meant to be is a honey badger looking at a PlayStation controller. Other controllers are available but since I mainly use a PS4 controller I based it off that. Um, the full image if you, is if you have a TV, uh, I think it's TV viewing. If you have a laptop, you'll see the strip, and if you have a phone, you'll see half of the strip. But apparently, when I clicked on the banner, if you see the, on TV the full thing, uh, you'll see all of it. So the other things you're missing is the rest of the honey badger and a YouTube play button because I'm on YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, you might also notice on the bigger picture if you ever find the big version of it, a little squiggle on the right hand corner. Uh, that is my copyright. All the great artists have little their name on it. That's my copyright signature. So if you copyright my image, you will be sued. So yeah, but the drawing itself is probably not a hundred percent great. It's just something to put on the banner because why not? What is tomorrow? Why not and why not two on Friday? Our little series we got going on. W and N for anyone who's looking for it. I've also categorized and organized my YouTube channel. Before now, I noticed that all my videos were unlisted and in the video section only and not on the home page. So I make sure that all my videos are on my home page. It only took me a year, but a whole year I'm learning about YouTube. I'm learning about videos. I'm learning about what I like, what I don't like, you know, finding out that uploading takes forever. You know, not a big fan of editing and not really want to get into it type thing. Actually deciding to do thumbnails by doodling myself decided to be more a live streamer than a pre-record that we are doing now yeah I committed to this so I'm going to continue committing to this um, also um, I could pre-record more on um, PlayStation, it's just it takes a very long time to upload on the PC 
if I had a strong in in ooh, internet connection, maybe. Oh, we're here. Uh, let's just turn around. We'll park here. So, um, yeah. I don't normally do uh, do the route. Um, normally, I, I I normally drive to it off camera and then start filming. But today, I had a lot to talk about, so I think uh, it was good drive anyway. But now we're here. Let's start exploring. Uh, right, let's go. We are um, going from here. And then we're going to go through this intersection and up to here. So there's not that much more to go. Okay. So, a bit of a density bit here, isn't it? A bit of a wasteland. What's. Oh, wrong button. What's interesting because. I suppose this bit here goes into a bit of a wastelandy bit. You can see on the map well how Rock Rockstar did. You know, um if you look at the map itself, of course the main action's in the city. And then you got Blaine County, what's the desert. And then up here is the foresty bit. So I think what Rockstar did when they created the map, they split into three sections okay a lot of the buildings are copy and paste buildings now some buildings have detail to them but just to flesh things out it looks like they've copied and pasted a lot of the uh buildings but then changed like um you know the windows and stuff you know maybe they had a selection of um ones give me a second just need that Oh, blow my nose. It's quite interesting. Like, game development must be... I personally think it's quite interesting. You know. Um, I'm going to try also give credit to the gamers. Um, developers and stuff. Um, like, Firewatch. I can't remember the company's name. I did show it when we did the very first episode. I did show it and say, "Hey, that's the company." Um, these com these companies make video games for us to enjoy and play, and uh, and they s allow us to also record our reactions and experiences on uh, YouTube for other people to watch and enjoy. You know. I feel like, you know, it's, you can like, it's like sharing. YouTube, you could share anything, your music, your days out to the zoo, um, your video game experience, you know, um, your reaction to films and your reviews on films and stuff. And that's like the, the, the beauty of YouTube itself. Um... And I, f I feel like, as a gamer, the gamer developers need credit. Because without it, it all goes away. And, uh, yeah. And I do apologise for the company who makes Firewatch. It is a small company. But an important one, nonetheless. Um, I googled it, and I was like, "Oh, that's what it's called," and I completely forgot what it's called. Um, I also have hard copies of the video games themselves, so um, I can see what it's called. Um, so I can see the different companies on my on the cases. But for the uh, downloadable ones, you can't see it. I'm probably on the main menu, but yeah, it, it's um. So uh, I, 
next I'm gonna well, I'm gonna try next week before I'm gonna try and uh, what I'm gonna do this is this is what I'm gonna do I'm trying to remember this and uh, put it try, tell me to remind me this in the comments I'm gonna go on to Google Translator I'm gonna type in the company's name and I'm gonna get Google Translator to read it out so uh, you can all hear the company because I struggle with reading of course and I, I don't want to butch off their their company so we'll I'll try and remember to do that. Um, so, yeah. So, what has Rockstar done with this map? Okay, I've seen their previous maps before. Normally, with GTA 3, San Andreas, Vice City, maybe 4. I've not played GTA 4. Um, I've got GTA 4. I've just never got around to playing it. Um, but they always split the map up and you have to unlock the areas as you do more missions you unlock the map um, I suppose it's still a way that you can focus on one section at a time and have unlockable achievements with this map I think it's the first of its kind because I think GTA 4 is also different regions you have to unlock. The map is complete. It's free roam. You can go anywhere. If you like someone like me who's loves video games but is terrible at playing them and can never get past the first few missions, you know, then you can just free roam. I remember playing GTA San Andreas couldn't get past the first island and just played around for a long time creating scenarios and thinking up things to do I keep trying the missions but I also keep failing the missions as well um, GTA 5 is also really great of you know save checkpoints so if you screw up in the thing you can keep retrying the previous checkpoint instead of going back to all the way to the beginning again so you do the mission and if you fail it it, the old games used to take you back to the start this one take you back to the last checkpoint save what is great because people like me who are a bit a bit dull um, it, it's, it's great so um what has Rockstar done here is opened up for everyone and then I think they, they split it, the map up into three bits so when they're making the map obviously they flesh it out and make it all beautiful and scenic and then put in some buildings that we might recognize in real life and stuff but it's the landscape is very interesting so if I come out here if I look, we're well, next to the road, because that's where we're touring and exploring, but if you actually have a look at the land itself, the, um, it's a bit density, it's a bit cracked earth, and then there's a bit of patchy grass, okay? So, what I think they've done, now for the city it's a bit more different um there's different kinds of roads there was the rails going through the roads if you remember in previous episodes there's lines on the roads and stuff they it is it, it's very hard and stuff so but for the deserty things the they have a lot of desert land and then it goes a, a bit up here it's a bit of foresty land uh, round from let's say here this is where it goes into the deserty bit and then from past Fort Fancudo round about here 
where the lake is that's when it goes into the forestry bit so the forestry bit okay because it's all trees and stuff um up here is a bit wastelandy as well a bit but where they have the mountain and stuff it kind of like separates through the lake so you got the lake and then they've got the river so what they've kind of done uh because this is also very density as well um it's only over here what's like a bit of a foresty bit um obviously los Anto los santos is based off um los angeles okay so what they look like they've done here is they br broke it up now when they're layering out you could put buildings in and you could put a runway there and you could put a military base here and you could put some shops here and you know you could put trees in and all that lot you know and we'll have pine trees here we have oak trees there and in the, and they probably have like um like uh in a document they'll probably have because i've when I was like um oh, is it the um what game is it where I've done where uh is it is it frills no not frills brill uh age of empires age of empires in Age of Empires, we can we can um, design our own maps as an edit mode where we can put in um, sand and then we can put in some water and then we can put in some um, grasslands or snowy backlands. And with that, we can we can uh then place in trees and in stone and bury bushes for the, for the villagers to collect so rockstar obviously probably has some files where they can have i've placed down one tree or a clump of trees or a bigger tree like with the water it can say small large medium or have or um very large and i can put how much ratio of water in so I think this is the same principle here, but on a bigger scale. So up here, we've got the foresty bit because the cable car goes up to the mountain, and there's a couple, and there's a couple of trees and stuff. Um, Are you still there? And uh, oh, sorry, some semi sign. I'll look into that later. And uh, got some trees here and stuff. And there's like a login station, I think. Uh, the sawmills, um, round about here. So there's the sawmills here as well. And then there's the depots. Um, and then everything over here, mostly, um, even a little bit here, the ground's like that as well. It's all very deserty, um, all over here. And then, and then you've got the, um, the grapevines. They've got the, um, I think it's, you got the vines as well somewhere. I think it's. Here is where the vines are, and you've got the grape vines, and there's like, um, obviously, you've got the quarry, and you've got the wind farm as well. I think it's here, and then down here's the oil thing. So, but where we are now, what is here, the the what they've decided to do. That wherever that there's no roads and pavements and and different kinds of roads and then putting buildings beside the roads and little alleyways and stuff. What they've decided here is to use the desert template 
for the ground and that's what they've 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 done um another thing is the ocean as well that's another template and of course that the 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 water when i was playing gta 3 all all these years ago if you went into the water you're dead and then um san andreas you were able to swim in the water and i don't know i don't know anything about four so i can't comment to it but in this game you can go under the water and the uh, the bit different bits of the water has bits in it but you can actually see like sand and rock it's not much but that's another template as well um also water and water and sand and s snow anything that's not a city basically or a forest or a field is really hard to do um to make it realistic of course um sand's probably out of all of them is maybe the easiest if it's like this that's easy that's clearly they they've put this in and that's clearly what that is um and then just sprayed it out it's like if you really look carefully i bet you anything some bits don't match up right and so they put things down like you know these electric pylons or bushes to cover up um any mistakes or blending and stuff like if you notice here it goes from desert and then like you've got this bit here what kind of like the ground here is a bit grassy a bit dried up grass it kind of like I don't know, it doesn't really add it, but look, and if you go over here, it goes into completely complete grass. So, it, it goes from very grassy, a bit, you know, you've got like leaves on the ground and stuff, and then it goes into a bit of grass, and then straight, and then transitions into desert, you know. And then, uh, if you look over here, you know it's all stone and pebbly and stuff for you know like um to go with the factories and stuff so it kind of like they put a little bit of brush in here so like cars for example can park here because you know no driver wants to park on the on the um ground well it's interesting really because the only way to get to here there is well I don't know how these cars got here because this is oh this is a track oh I can see it here there's like there's road markings there's grooves in the where the tires are going through it looks more like a tractor tires but yeah so they've probably gone up and then round and then they parked up so it makes sense but uh Oh, hello. Plane. So it's it's very in, in, in interesting. Um, snow is probably again easy. Uh, um, weather effects and particle effects are hard. Uh, snow is probably and and they've done and sandstorms and stuff are easy, but still a bit hard. Um, also snow shines and stuff so so it goes I think out of everything it goes sand then snow water is really hard because it swishes and sways and stuff but it's not solid like uh, snow and sand so um, moving water is probably really hard but you can, these days it's probably actually quite easy to do so to uh, able to do water and in a couple of wave motions it's you know pretty easy or when a boat goes through it'll make that frothy bit that's probably and it will react to the environment i i bet you anything the hardest thing of making this map it is not the city layout you know it's it's not 
um, making the deserts and all the roads and stuff and all the twists and turns and you know and fleshing the fleshing it out. I bet the hardest thing to do was making the stuff under the water because if you look under the water, of course you can't because you know there's the element of breathing because in real life you have to you have to hold your breath because you can't let any water in because you drown you have to hold your breath and you can only breathe underwater for a few minutes before coming up for air and then unless you have a scuba gear where you have an oxygen tank but then even then that's limited so and then you got like submarines so you can but if you're but the thing is the water underneath is very murky very dark very dingy minecraft was like that for a long time until they've actually added coral and they made it brighter and you can actually see everything underwater and it's beautiful but um rockstar back in 2013 when this game first came out probably they they wanted to make a way for you could swim and dive underneath and you could see fishes and uh killer whales and or orcas what they're called and uh also if you go out too fast you also see a shark was quite cool um but um a lot of the stuff is all rocks there's some odd things now and again but it, it, it it's mainly rocks and it's very dark so it's very hard to see so obviously the hardest part is they wanted to have the experience because not able to dive underneath the water and swim under the water is a bit unrealistic so they wanted to make their game as realistic as possible but I bet you only think the underwater features was the hardest thing to do um out of the whole game I bet doing that was the hardest uh, right okay we're gonna I've talked a bit actually in this episode so I'm gonna do a couple of paces and then we'll stop somewhere probably uh Yeah. Right, so let's um, move on. Oh, we'll just, we'll, we'll go as, let's see, as far as we go. We'll go up to maybe this section here, and then um, we'll stop. Just because we talked a bit about the land. You know, we explored the, uh, in the tour and explore today, we... They explored the, the mindset, and look at that van, just came up and feels like it's going to park. We explored the mindset of Rockstar, what? I could be wrong. I don't work for Rockstar, I didn't make the GTA 5 map. But, it's a good theory. Yeah. You know, from I don't think these telegraph poles. Looking at it, they're not actually got any cables to them. The big ones do, but these ones don't. I'm guessing because when you're flying around, you don't want to crash into low cables. Actually, if you you could actually fly through the cables, I think. You'll crash, if you hit the tower you will blow up, but I think you could fly for the cables. Got a random rock here. And a tyre. <laughs> Got a bit of a cone. Oh, I can't kick it. Got some oil rigs.
Yes, they're not connected to anything. Maybe they're like th these are. They're connected, but maybe those ones are old ones and they haven't been taken down. The signpost here. What's it say? I think it's saying the road's narrowing. Just gonna cross over. So it's the same drivers that the road's narrowing. Uh, my question to my American uh, people on online. So you got the white sign. I think that means road is narrowing. What's the triangle yellow one with the red dots? Is that a real sign or is it something what Rockstars has put in? Let me know in the comments down below. So we've got like a fuse box here, it's probably for like the street lamps and stuff. Probably a circuit breaker. Could be uh it could be the uh Wi Fi. Who knows? I don't know anything about those boxes. Got a, a billboard for beer, gold, let it run, 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 I don't know. Some palm trees. That looks like a, like a coconut tree. Ah, uh, definitely palm trees. Another billboard. I don't know what that was. Burgers. It is 7.05 sunset. Got this, uh, looks like soundproofing wall type thing. It just opens up again. Bit rude.
and we're at the crossing. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we've been talking a lot about the that's a very dangerous driving then. We've been talking about a lot about the uh, the map. We haven't done much walking today, but I'll put a waypoint so we know for next time. And um, yeah, well the sun is, the sun's getting low. Um, in real life, the sun is already set, and in game life, the sun is going. Um, so we'll do some more next time. I know we haven't gotten too far, but we we didn't explore the area, but we ex we had a little explore into the mind of Rockstar. So that's uh, and we explored that. We didn't tour, but we explored, and that is one of the part of the name. We did have a look at the land. It's just had a bit of a chitty chat today. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification <coughs> bell. And I'll see you guys next week. And also I'll see you tomorrow for Why Not W and N. Uh, for Why Not where we do some frills build new stuff we unlocked so thank you so much for watching <laughs>